The really funny part about all of this is the fact that I have now covered both how not sleeping can affect you negatively and how sleeping can affect you positively. I am yet to cover the fact that all of that is immaterial, because regardless of the positive or negative effects, you have to do it, it's a necessity, in order to avoid, uh, death? Mind you, there is one small caveat to that. We know that not sleeping will kill you, either through long-term sleep depravity or just sheer exhaustion, uh, but scientists are yet to figure out exactly why we need sleep in the first place. So a fat lot of good they were. We do know some of the stuff that happens when you're asleep, that primarily being that the brain gets rid of its own internal waste, both by disposing of what it considers useless memories in order to be able to strengthen neural connections made during the day, enhancing any practice skills learned throughout the day, and cementing long-term memories. And also literally disposing of the waste by pumping a bunch of spinal fluid up into the brain to clean itself like disinfectant on a mucky hob. What we haven't figured out is why this even requires you to be unconscious. There are certain animals, such as whales and dolphins, that are notable for actually shutting down half of their brain when it needs to sleep, and allowing the other half to just keep going. With that in mind, it does seem like a tiny bit of an evolutionary oversight to just have your brain render you completely defenseless for like a third of the day. And before somebody decides to write an awesome comment that clearly states that humans and dolphins actually happen to be two separate species and as such have two different brains, let me quickly clarify. There is plenty of precedent in humans for our brains being fully capable of being able to perform tasks typically done while asleep, but just when we're awake. And if you, yes you, have ever gone 24 hours without sleeping, it's happened to you too. You see, when you don't sleep for long enough, your brain does this really cool thing where it just panics and starts shutting off areas of the brain that are most affected, effectively putting them to sleep. This is why it typically becomes more difficult to think when you're tired, because there is literally less of your brain available to work on a problem.